if you've ever finished a macrame project, you probably know the pain of hiding countless loose ends. For things like back straps, belts or keychains, visible fringe on the ends might create quite a messy look. If that is not what you want, stick around with this video, because today I will show you how to make your back strap as seamless as possible. For starters, you will need two carabiners, 5mm braided cotton cord, a needle and a thread of matching color. Let's make the base first. Cut two pieces of cord, each 65 cm long. Align them together and thread them through your carabiners, both at the same time. Next, pick one cord and with its ends slightly overlapping, sew them together. Repeat the same steps with the second chord. Now you can position your carabiners on the opposite sides and your base is ready. Next, cut 3.5 meter long cord. Fold it in half to find its middle and take your base. Try to twist cords on the base in a way that two connection points are a bit further away from each other. Next, start making square knots.
Once you reach the first connection point, slightly adjust your knot so that it covers most of it. Continue until you almost reach the end of your base and I will meet you there. When you have space left for roughly 3 knots, it's time to start thinking about hiding the ends of the working cord. You can approximately estimate how many knots will fit into the remaining space. Continue making the last knots, but make them fairly loose. There goes the first square knot. This is the second one. And this is the third one. Now you can pick which side of the strap you want to hide your ends on. Since the strap will look quite symmetrical, it doesn't matter too much. Now take one of your ends and pull it through all three square knots. Repeat with the other cord. Turn your strap upside down and start tightening the last knots. When doing that, try to match the width of the previous knots in the row. To secure the loose ends, you can go through the place where they are hidden with a needle and a thread a couple of times.
and the strap is all ready. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below which macrame project you want to try this trick on. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.